<laughs> hey guys, it's Eric. Today let's talk about the Brownie Bullseye camera. So this is a camera that I actually intended to do a video on like half a year ago. Uh, I got this as a Christmas gift from my sister and brother-in-law and they gave it to me in this cool little set. Uh, it came with a box, a uh, flash, a bunch of flash bulbs, uh, a manual, probably as it was initially sold. This is a camera from the 1950s. Uh, and I took it out, took a bunch of pictures, and then somehow uh, on my trip back to Buffalo, or back from Buffalo rather, lost the film. So uh, I was never able to make that video. Uh, I ordered some more 620 film and took it out and shot some pictures. Now, I'm just gonna save you the trouble. Before you write like a comment like, oh, you know you can roll 120 film onto 620 spools. In fact, I do know that and I just don't want to. It seems like something I would screw up, like a lot of work, just not gonna do it. So, then. <laughs> so I, uh, I bought some more 620 film on B&H, uh, took it out, shot some photos, uh, last time I was, I was visiting my family, and uh, I'm going to develop them now. I've never looked at them. Uh, the camera itself is a, a, is a box camera. Like, if you've seen my previous video on the Kodak Brownie, it's gonna be pretty similar. I haven't seen the photos from this, and I believe they're probably going to look a lot like those. Uh, in terms of box cameras, this one does have more uh, options than a lot of them do. You can actually set the focal distance on this anywhere between four feet and infinity, which is pretty cool. It's got uh, intervals of four, six, eight, 10, 15, and infinity. That's kind of neat. Um, that's pretty much it. Otherwise, it's just point and shoot. This is gonna be somewhere in the realm of like an F8, this plastic lens on here, uh, F8 aperture, and you're gonna be somewhere between uh, 25, 125th and 160th of a second exposures. You don't have any control over that. The film itself, and there's actually still the roll of film in here, but pretty simple to roll. You're gonna take, once this is completed, you would take this empty 120 space right here, place it in there, you would load the film in there and then just stretch it over the back, wind it in, and then you can tell where you are because the film will show you the number right in that little red display on the back there. So yeah, um, this would have been like an everyman's camera. This would not have been a professional's or even a, uh, a, a high-end amateur's camera. This was just for taking, for shooting, it was for everybody, that's how Kodak made their money. You know, this would be like a cell phone camera today, though, you know, cell phone cameras have advanced so much that it's not really an accurate comparison, but it would have just been for people who wanted to take snapshots and weren't super concerned with the quality. So, I'm gonna take this film and I'm gonna go develop it right now, then I'm gonna scan it and I'll go over it with you in the second half of this video. I'm actually pretty excited. I really liked the look that I got out of the last uh, brownie camera that I used. So, so, you know, I'm anxious to see what this looks like and, uh, and give you an idea what you can expect from a 1950s era Kodak box camera. See you on my computer screen. So how did they turn out? Pretty terribly. <laughs> it's mostly a result of shooting a 400 speed film with no ability to control the shutter speed in direct sunlight. Uh, they're, they're all pretty fried, pretty overexposed. Uh, still a, like a worthy experiment, <laughs> a lot of fun. Uh, I recommend shooting a, a box camera if you get a chance, if you can get one for cheap, grab one. Uh, if you have not seen uh, my video from about a year ago that I did with my friend John where we shot uh, Kodak Brownie in subdued light uh, in kind of like overcast skies. I recommend it. Check it out. I'll link to it here. Uh, that'll give you an idea of kind of the results you can get. I honestly feel like this is probably a sharper camera than that one was. But uh, yeah, yeah, check it out. Um, you know, if you like this video, <laughs> uh, terrible photos notwithstanding, uh, like, subscribe, uh, more stuff coming soon. Very excited. I, I just grabbed a, a new camera and did some photos with it. So uh, yeah, uh, stick around. There'll be more coming. I love you guys. <laughs> be safe this week and see you soon. I am actually pretty excited. I, I really kind of liked the look that I got out of the last brownie I used. It sounds so bizarre to say. <laughs>